welcome to Climber Dad. I've been out here in Richmond, Virginia for the last several months building this amazing climbing gym. And we finally have the competition boulder done and the lead route setter who is level three certified, which is pretty amazing, it's pretty good, uh, came up to me today and asked me if I would be willing to set a route. And I am just really honored by that invitation we're gonna go ahead and set a route. There's some things that I wanted to talk to you about setting a route, so I'll do a voiceover as I'm setting this route. I hope you enjoy. Hey, you should subscribe and like. That helps people find this channel. Before you even start setting, you need to know the holds that you're gonna be using and the terrain that you're putting it on. Make sure that you get all of your holds set out. Make sure that you have bolts for all of them because it is super frustrating to plan out a route and have it all in your mind and realize that you don't have the bolts that you need. Oh well, there's nothing you can do about that. The other thing is impact wrench works really nice for setting, but you need to be careful with it that you don't strip out the, the T-nuts. And then also escape has finally made an insert that's just it's solid, it's one piece, you don't have to worry about you know, putting in a 3 8 drive into your impact wrench and then putting an Allen key onto that. This is one solid piece, it's not gonna be falling off on you on the wall. So thank you Escape Climbing for this. Everything great in this life that's been created has been with a plan or a detailed vision. Sure, you can just throw some plastic holds on the wall and call it route setting, and you might even get lucky with having a good route every once in a while. But if you create a plan, a vision, think about where those holds are going before you get it on the wall, it will be that much greater. Also, leave room for improvement after you start setting those holds on the wall. It might surprise you with how different it is in your mind than it is in reality. Another thing that Eric was shared with me that helped me in setting this route is aesthetics. Make sure that the aesthetics are good, visually appealing, because you want people to look at your route and say, wow, that looks beautiful. I want to try to climb that. That is the goal for route setters. Thank you to all those that have subscribed to my channel. I really appreciate it. If you have not done so yet, I would love to have you a part of the Climber Dad family. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, if you are our route setter and would like to share some tips and tricks that you have, please comment below. I'd love to see those also.